Welcome to Das Geek. Today I am going to show you how you can run a virtual box in Windows 10 inside of a virtual box that is on your Ubuntu machine. So the first thing you need to do is download virtual box. So you can do that through the terminal or as I'm doing right here, you can do it through the software center within Ubuntu and just type in for virtual box. We're in the terminal sudo app cache search virtual box and then sudo apt get install virtual box and then you'll have that there. Then you need to download the Windows ISO file and Microsoft provides that for free. You can go to the website, I'll have it linked below and you can get that ISO file. So once you have those two things, you're gonna need one more thing and that's a product key. So you can do this Windows 10, 8, 7, doesn't matter, but you gotta have a product key. So here's the website that will allow you to download your version of Windows 10. And we're gonna use the 64-bit ISO file in this demonstration, but certainly you can use the 32-bit version as well. So once that's downloaded, we're going to do some quick setup here in VirtualBox. And this is so simple. Anybody can do this. Uh, it's one of the easiest installations. And that way, if you have software that you just have to have in Windows, you can install it um, using the VirtualBox. So you don't have to give up and switch back to Windows. So just click New. Type in a name for your Windows solution. It can be any name. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then go to the drop down and choose your Windows version that you're installing. We're doing the Windows 10 64 bit here in the memory size. You want to stick into the green areas there. So if it goes into red, that may start impacting other system functions. So we raise that up a little bit. And for the most part, you're going to stick to create a virtual hard disk. Now you're going to stick to a lot of the defaults, virtual box disk image, allow it to be dynamically allocated. So it's only going to use up that max space as it needs it. And here I'm going to give it a little more than the 32 gigabyte standard. I've got extra room on my, my hard drive and I may install some other programs within the Windows VirtualBox. I'll give it about 60 gigabytes to play around with there. And so that's pretty much done. Now the only thing we have to do is go into settings and into storage. And here is where we're going to tell it where that ISO file is so it can go ahead and install it. And then when you're done, all you're going to have to do is open up VirtualBox, click on Windows and click start and you'll be good to go. That's how simple it is to get Windows within Ubuntu, and it runs really, really well. One of the biggest issues you may find is it's generally easier to download a program you want to use versus trying to install it through CD-ROM and things like that. It's just easier. So you see I selected the ISO, I clicked OK, and then I'm going to click Start. And now this is going to look just like a standard Windows installation because... In reality, it is. It's just created a separate partition, virtual partition on my hard drive, and it's going to install Windows 10 within there. So you go through the exact same prompts that you would doing any other Windows 10 setup. So for instance, if you use some type of video editing software that only works on Windows and will not work in Wine, um, if you have some reliance on let's say iTunes or some other program that you just have to have. You can actually run iTunes through Wine or a version of it. But any program that you just can't seem to find a good alternative for, this would be a option that you can use so that you still have that Windows you can play around with and you don't have to do the dual boot where you, you know, <clears throat> boot into Windows when you're booting up and then you want to go back to Ubuntu and you have to restart and then choose. So this could be a good option here. And here you want to choose custom install because we're not upgrading, we're installing a brand new version of Windows in here. So once you select that, you can see it only has the 60 gigabytes of space that we allocated and through our, through our VM, and then we're going to go through and let this install completely finish. And once that's finished, I'll just show you a couple of things here. And we're fast forwarding. It's going to take a little longer on your machine. There'll be a few more prompts asking you your basic installation questions, but nothing too fancy here. We'll go through and just show you installing Chrome or something simple so you can see that it works very, very well. Now, additionally, you can go into the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and you can turn on things like 3D acceleration, etc., through the settings. And you can change that after you've done the install. So that'll allow you to have a little more power uh, to your machine in case you're wanting to do something a little more graphically intensive. You can install many different programs. Again, I find the downloads from the internet work much better than trying to install from a CD. I just tend to get strange errors when doing it from a CD. It's not that it's impossible. It's just uh, a little, takes a little more effort. But this is such a great solution for folks who are wanting to go to an Ubuntu solution but have a reliance on some other program. So we're finishing up our install here. That didn't take too long at all. Obviously, it's going to utilize your internet connection that you've already established with Ubuntu. 
you can set up so that you can share certain folders and drives so that you can see those within the virtual machine. There are so many options here to customize it and make this work for you. And this is going to be a pretty short video because it's just so simple to really do. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you use Windows as an option and maybe some programs that you've installed in there that work great. If you use this as a solution running Windows through a virtual machine, you can also do this on a Mac as well. If you want Windows, you can use a virtual box and run Windows. Uh, if you have Windows, you can use this virtual box to run Ubuntu as well. So it works kind of all sides. Of course, it's much easier with Ubuntu because you don't have to have that license. So that's it. Now you can see we are completely set up on a Windows solution and it looks just like any other standard Windows installation because frankly it is. It's a full version of Windows 10 64 bit and we'll go ahead and just download Chrome just to show you it works like a standard OS here. You can also change the settings on uh, the resolution. You can make this full screen so that's your full operating system. You can, you know, as far as it takes up the full screen of your real estate, so it looks like a very standard Windows installation when you have it. Uh, so play with those settings within VirtualBox. It's a great way to try things out because you have a partition that you really can't screw it up uh, or mess around with your hard drive. So if you go in and you delete this installation, it's not going to create any major problems with your hard drive or partitions in the future. You can just recreate the partition, reinstall it if you need to. And so that's it. You can see we have Chrome here. Start it up, whatever you wanted to install. It runs just like any other program. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave your comments below. This is part of our 30 days of Linux, which seems to be getting a lot of um, good ratings, a lot of views. So I really appreciate that. And we'll talk to you next time on some more fancy stuff. Talk to you later.